The Fadja government says it is confident that the newly commissioned Kajala Wagand Assembly plant will not only boost Nigeria's local content in the rail sector, but transform it into a wagon manufacturing plant in the future. The Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, at the groundbreaking ceremony of the plant in Ugun State, said the federal government's rail modernization plan is on track and is expected to link major cities across the country, reduce traffic in major cities and help freighting goods from Nigeria's ports. Well, what, what we are doing today is a groundbreaking. And uh, the minister on behalf of the government, after we gave a contract for the supply of wagons, coaches, locomotives, had to ask for social responsibility and ask them only for 40 percent of the wagons can be imported, while the rest had to be assembled in Nigeria. And they requested that we should provide them the, the space. and. Uh, where to put it and we are provided the space. So today the Vice President is uh, breaking the ground so that they can decide to arrange the workshop and the production and the assembling of wagons in Nigeria with commerce. After completing the Abuja Cardinal Railway project in July 2016, this administration commenced the construction works on the Lagos Ibano Railway Modernization Project in March 2017 following which we initiated the rehabilitation and completion of the abandoned Itakwe Ajaokuta Wari Rail Line, which was started over three decades ago. Furthermore, last month, we signed an agreement with Messrs. China Railway Construction Company International to construct the Itakwe Ajaokuta Rail Line, which will be expected, which will be extended from Itakwe to Abuja through the Barrow Island Waterport to Niger State with a branch line to Lokoja in Kogi State. The rail line will link into the new Wari Seaport being constructed under the agreement. Also, we are optimizing the Lagos Ibadan Rail modernization project by extending it to the Apapa Port, the nation's busiest port, for the efficient movement of cargo from the port to the various destinations. This will expedite the import and export flows, decongest the ports, and remove the pressure currently on our roads in the process. Also, we are putting in place a mechanism to achieve the swift completion of the Ibadan inland dry ports, which will take off, which will off take containers and cargo from the Apapa port through the Lagos Ibadan Rail Line. It is expected that the plant will generate job opportunities for Nigerians and as well facilitate the much desired objective of the government towards the local content capacity development. It was in the pursuit of these objectives that the Federal Minister of Transportation signed an agreement with Mr. CCECC Nigerian Limited in March 2018 to establish this plant for the production and assembling of rolling stock, spare parts, and maintenance equipment in Nigeria. CCCC commits to spare low efforts to cooperate with the Nigeria government. The concept of this wagon assembling plant is grow local technology and ultimately make Nigeria not only self-sufficient in certain components of locomotive rolling stock, but also an export. With completion and operation of Abuja to Kadola Railway, Abuja Rail Mass Transit, and the nearly completion of Lagos Ibada and other railway projects. The plant will play an important role in ensuring the provision of wagons 